Hey Pathways, welcome back to The Daily Dose. A question for you. Are you afraid of the dark? Does the thought of turning out the lights before you go to bed terrify you? Uh, I remember as a kid hitting the light switch and racing up the stairs until I made it uh, to my covers safe and sound, almost like my covers would protect me from whatever was out in the darkness. Looking back now, of course, that that looks absolutely silly, but the reality is that very few people actually enjoy sitting in darkness. You know, biologists actually suggest the fear of darkness stems from this biological fear of the unknown that we can't see what is surrounding us, so therefore we can't escape what we can't see. John uses this concept of light versus darkness in the first chapter of 1 John. He says this in verse 5, This is the message we have heard from him and declare unto you, God is light, in him there is no darkness at all. If we claim to have fellowship with him and yet walk in darkness, we lie and we do not live out the truth. This darkness that John is referring to, it isn't a physical darkness, but actually a a spiritual darkness. You see, darkness is the absence of light, and to claim to be in the light but also in darkness is actually impossible. See, a lot of times we, we say that we follow Jesus on Sunday or on a Wednesday, and we know everything. We know what we have to say, but we aren't actually in fellowship with Christ. While we claim to be Christians who are walking in the light, we're actually walking without him in darkness. My challenge for you today is this. Are you actually in fellowship with God, or are you claiming to be a follower but walking in darkness? Take some time today to answer that question. Students, I'll see you tonight. For everyone else, we'll see you tomorrow here on The Daily Dose.